Hey y'all, how's everybody doing? Well, I have been working today and now I've got to go run to an appointment, but I thought before I did, I would put on my mascara because we have talked about the fact that we will share our findings on mascara. And I wanted to share a little present I got from y'all that I can't wait to try. How y'all doing? Mm. By the way, I am, um, you know, I have my nails done. I showed y'all where I had um, kind of a French white with a kind of white silver pearl glitter put in the French white, like in the white part. But then I painted over, as I always do with this Essie, and I'm just, I'm not really happy with the result because it looks so, I don't know if y'all can see if I get too close or if I maybe put that on that. It's really streaky. You know, I don't know which one's going to show it the best. How about that one? Like, just look at the dark spot at the top of that fingernail. Do you see what I'm saying? It's just, it's, it's streaky. This, this hand looks a little bit better. But can you see how it looks kind of, I don't know. I was really disappointed. I have to tell you next, I am going to do Kendra Scott's, um, Bright Coral, that's 675. Is that right? 675? Yeah, and this is like putting on gel. It is so thick that you really only need, if you can do good, you can. You only need one, um, remember I, one coat. Remember I got this. This was the turquoise in color 440, and that looked so good. That is actual Tiffany blue. So if those of y'all like Tiffany blue, I have a Tiffany blue handbag, remember, and it's the exact color of the Tiffany blue leather handbag. But this is just so spring, and I'm trying to make it be spring. Coral is so spring, y'all. So that will be the next color after I wanted to do a baby pink. So, and I think this was, uh, maybe it's because it was old. This was the one that said Raise Awareness. But before that, they took a color and renamed it to Raise Awareness, I guess. And um, I think before that was Ballerina Shoes or something like that. But anyway, that's that. Yeah. Mmm. Before I begin my mascara, a friend of mine brought me a little treat from Rio de Janeiro. Shout out, Tan. This is the cutest little bag. I feel like I've really been to Rio now. So cool. I'm just going to use it for all kinds of things. But the little presents she brought to me. She always brings me presents. She's the most giving person, y'all. I love her. Tan, I hope you're watching. Well, first, let me show you my two little lip glosses I got. And I've got one of them on. This is the Crystal Gloss, which y'all know I don't typically wear gloss. But uh, just because it's kind of sticky and it tends to make my lips a bit, um, it takes the Chanel back off. But I have worn this a little bit and it hasn't been doing that. So this is called Promiscuous TLG13 is the color. Uh, and this is Ruby Kisses. Um... Shea Butter Enriched Crystal Gloss and it's Shine Seduction. It's great for on stage. So we're stage girls. So she got me that one, Promiscuous. And then the other color is Gold Digger and that's TLG06. Um, these are affordable. I don't, I didn't ask her, but I imagine you can get these at the drugstore or Walmart or maybe the grocery store. Ruby Kisses. I hadn't heard of the brand. But this is, um, Again, it's Shea Butter and Rich Crystal Gloss, and one is more of a bronzy gloss to put over a darker lip, maybe, and one is more of almost like a clear. I know it doesn't look clear, but that it's clear. It's got a little hint of color, like a little bit of an orangey undertone. Perfect for summer. Perfect. Especially by the pool. This would be perfect. So that's one. Look what this girl gave me. Then she gave me a Kylie. Y'all, those have been so hard to get even. And what it comes with, this color is Posy K. It's a deep rose, which she knows I love rose. And um, it comes with both the, um, the lip stick and the liner that's part of the kit. Which I have to say for Kylie Cosmetics, I don't know who actually came up with it. Kylie, Kim, Chris. I don't know who came up with it because they're always looking for ways to venture into making money. But to put in here the liner that matches was brilliant. The packaging, I'm not crazy about lips with looks like blood dripping down or especially when it has white dripping out. Just it's kind of like gross looking. 
for me personally. But I guess it's showing how drippy it is. I don't know. Because, but it, I mean, it's cute. And then this is the matte, lip, matte lipstick that comes with it. So, I already had my lipstick on. So, I was, I'm not going to do that today. But I will do it tomorrow and let y'all see how glorious I look with my new. almost dropped it. Kali K. Okay, let's get some eyelashes on these eyes. A. Eh? First of all, get out your eyelash curler. I did not put on liner today. I just don't want to. That's okay. I don't always wear liner. I've, I've gotten in a habit of wearing liner. I've got a little makeup brush thing on my face. Um, I love this particular eyelash curler because it the metal band is so wide that it goes from end to end of the eye. It gets all the eyelashes. Remember, then kind of let out a little bit and curl back towards the crease, the eye socket. Gives them a little more of a curl. So again, just pop them right up. And they're straight up now in the L position, so they're straight up. We're gonna hold it there for a second or two, or maybe longer. There's something on my lip. All right, now let it out a little bit, just and curl it back a little more towards the, uh, what is on my lip? I don't know. Maybe I was eating something. <laughs> it just stuck right in my gloss. That's the only thing. Okay, what do we do next? What do we always do after we use our eyelash curler, girls? Wipe it off. Always keep a makeup tail. I keep a black one. And this one does not say makeup on it like the other one did. This is just a black um, hand cloth or hand towel from, where did I get this one from? Bed Bath & Beyond. You can get them anywhere. Um, but just make sure you get all the makeup off your eyelash curler. You don't want to get eye goo on yourself. And always, it's just always good to keep one of those handy. So I am going to, we've been using this uh, Maybelline Total Temptation Waterproof. The non-waterproof comes in a black pink. This comes in black blue. So that's one way you can tell it apart. I do like the fact that there is a flat place so you, for your thumb. I think that was, I don't know if they meant to do that, but always tip, whoops. Always tip out first, tip the ends of the lashes, just right across the ends of them. And all that does is make it to where when you come out from the root to the end, that you come out to a bit that is already there and it just comes it through and it makes sure that you get full coverage for the whole lash. And then always point the ones on the inner side towards the nose and the outside towards the ears. And uh, especially on the bottom lash, I wiggle, wiggle down, wiggle, wiggle down, down, wiggle, wiggle down, wiggle, wiggle down, down, wiggle down, wiggle, wiggle down, down. All right, wiggle a little bit. What the wiggle does is it kind of gets the lashes to go into the spoolie on either side. And so it just does a little bit better job of coating the lash. That's all it is. It's just a little makeup tip. I will go back into the barrel swirl it around, not in and out like that. That takes air down in it. When you pull it out, you hear that little, th that's the suction pulling off excess and you'll get a little curl on the end and that's what you use to tip out the lashes. But you always get a little kind of cupy curl. You remember our Dairy Queen always had a little curl on top of your ice cream cone. You get that when it comes out of the suction and you actually use that excess product. There's still little brushes. What brush did I use today? Because it didn't, it's some of it's coming off. You know, I used to think you could keep your favorite, uh, which what mine is uh, Sigma Beauty brushes, favorite brush set, but they do wear out and you have to go back and get some more. And by then, of course, yes, they've changed them up. Except Sigma Beauty does have all the original ones that I used. See how I have a little booby right there? Got it off and I'm going to wipe my finger off on my trusty towel. We tipped out. Now we're coming through and Pointing these towards the nose and this towards the ear. Wiggle, wiggle down. Wiggle, wiggle down, down. Wiggle, wiggle down. Wiggle down, down. Wiggle, wiggle down. Wiggle down, down. I'm not doing the most perfect job, but you know. All right, so that's one coat. I am going to do two coats. Did you hear it? See how it gets a little ticky piece on the end? Use that to tip out your lashes. And I am going to retip them. I don't always. But I don't, I just kind of go thick today. 
and see how it just gets the ends of them real good and then when you come through it gets all that product really good on there and sometimes I like a real thick looking lash and that's just that's the mood I'm in today other days I like it to be very thin and combed out a little more elegant this is a little more sexy I don't know why I'm not trying to be sexy for anyone today I'm going to the doctor The reason, one of the reasons I'm working from home today, I also have people coming to work on the house. There's a little bit of goof. It's going to fall off of that. So I needed to work from home today. Working on a big meeting today from one of my bosses, Matt. I'm sure you're watching. <laughs> He's not. I wonder if his wife would be, though. Well, I'm taking a lunch break right now, wife. It's okay. She might don't care. There. Do you see how thick that makes it look? This is good mascara. It's a little goopy. Especially, you know, once you've had it a few days, it gets a little more goopy. It's a few days old, and as y'all know, we have used this a few times to see how we like it. Um, I like it. I still like it. I always like to get those little in ones like that so they really stand out. Now you could use a comb. Let me show you what I mean. You can use a uh, eyebrow, eyebrow or eyelash comb, however you want to think of this. Make sure there's no fuzzes. Gosh, can y'all hear that wind? And I'm just going to comb through and get any excess off that's too goopy. There. That's perfect. Then you gotta wipe that off good because see how it's all in there? You can't let that build up because if you do, then it won't, it'll dry hard and you won't be able to get it out between the little cones without breaking them. They're not usually expensive. That one's a Mary Kay one, is why that one's expensive. It came in a 